Hey, Hello. hey, today we're eating at CU in Korea. Yes, it's one of the most popular convenience stores here. I hope you got your munchies ready, food fam. Let's, Let's eat. eat. It's time for the CU tour. So this is a really, really popular convenience Look at this. store. It, oh my God! Greetings, Santa. Here it is, guys. A whole big ass convenience store. We've got this cold area which has a lot of microwavable foods. Oh. Even that. Oh, the, those popular mandu and ice cream, Hagen Das. You got your fresh food section. These are quite popular in Korea. I think it's like a banana milk. Here's a strawberry one. We'll go, we'll I'm go gonna for try banana. A strawberry. Oh, really? Okay. Here you got Starbucks, your coffees, uh, your Korean sausages. I've never had these before. Don't even know how to prepare them, so I won't. You got raw beef, pork, rice, kimchi. Snacks over here, guys. Looks really cool. Look at these. Choco sandwiches with no crust. Oh. You've got some. Oh, this one's number one. Oh, it's this one. Yes, I'll try this one. This one's really good. This is really good. This you you really would have good. seen it in the previous episode. We won't get it again. You've got your delicious desserts here. This is a soft ass roll. You know those swirly ones? I really enjoy these. So let's try it out, guys. Over here, you got alcohol. You know, let's see how the price is. Oh my is god, here. this is the best thing ever. Oh no. I should there you buy go. one. Please, please. Let's see how much Jack Daniels cost. About $36, about 40 Ooh. AUD. That's okay. that's decent. Drink and beer, whole bunch of alcohol, coffees, tea. I'm gonna have to get a tea. I love these Korean teas. They're like these wheat teas with no sugar. Always have to have that after a really greasy meal. It's got a soft drink as well. This is a peach and an apple drink. It's like a soda, demi soda. They even have hot drinks here. Come on, hot coffee. Ooh, so warm. I'm gonna try this one because it's pink. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's how you get her guys. If it's pink, she'll love it. Here you got the ice cream section. Wow, that looks crazy. It's a milk cookie ice cream. The fish, very popular. I like these melon ice creams, but uh, we'll come back to that soon. Look at all this coffee, guys. Korean really love their coffees, and you got some cups of ice in there if you want iced coffee. Chips, oh my god, this place is so overwhelming, guys. Like, look how much stuff they have. I'm getting this guy. These look incredible. It looks like a honey glazed uh, crisp. I love these white cookie pretzels. They have Whoa, a peanut pretzel. I haven't seen that before. Peanut pretzel, incredible. Let's try it. Oh, they have the red velvet Oreos. These, incredible. Uh, cookies, other things too, amazing. Oh, you got your chocolate pies? I wanted these, but I, you know, it's not really Korean. It's like a Doritos pack and you get like your ranch sauce in there. Look at this huge variety of chocolates and sweets. Wow, I really like these. These are kind of like Haribos, chewy, little bites. What's something Korean that I can try? Hmm, are they Korean chocolates? Oh, this is a, this is a Korean bar right here. Is this any good? It's an almond and peanut bar. Looks interesting. This is awesome, guys. Korea, you have some of the best convenience stores in the world. Here, you also got some preserved stuff. You got your dry squid. Koreans seem to really like snacking on these. You got a whole bunch of other things too, like jerky. Incredible. Over here you got some shin ramen, noodles. Let's get some noodles I've never tried before. I want some of these jajangmyeon kind of style noodles, but they always have a, like a strange kind of aftertaste. It's not the same uh, flavor as the ones you get from the restaurant, but I'm gonna just take a wild guess and try a new one because I want to find one that suits my taste buds. There you go. What is that? I don't know, it's really small. It's 120 I think, calories. I think it's clear noodles, so oh, I want yeah. to just try it out. Okay, why not? Doesn't hurt to try new things. Is that kimchi fried rice? 
That looks crazy. Look at these ones, guys. Look at the variety. It just does not stop here. Oh my God. What the hell is this, guys? That looks deadly. Is that a pineapple bun? With butter and cream and red bean. I, I mean, I would love to, but it looks so heavy. Is there a smaller version? Is that the smaller version? That looks like there's taro in that. Holy cow, that's decadent. What are you getting from the Merry Christmas section? What is that, a pudding? I'm not sure. It looks pretty tasty though. Let's get it. It's like a snow cake full of layers. So these are the type of foods that you can chuck in the microwave. You got your sandwiches. You got that strawberry Japanese style one. You've got onigiri. Oh yes, we've tried actually one of these onigiri already. What's this one? Is that bacon? I'm going to try this bacon onigiri. What is this? Like a cheese or an egg? <laughs> it's egg time. So it's egg with cheese inside it. So in the middle of it is cheese. That looks really intense. That is crazy. Is that hamburger I with rice and potatoes? <laughs> yes. Whoa. I found it. It is a omelette. It's got curry on one side and tomato on the other side. So let's get it. This is a bulgogi right. lunchbox. That looks incredible. It looks like a gyudon. Oh my God. These noodles have a picture of my mom on it. <laughs> that is crazy. Is she trying to hit me? Mom, please. Oh, kimbap. What I love about this kimbap is it's already all sliced up. So all you have to do is open it, put it in the microwave for a little bit yeah. and it's ready to eat. We're going to get some of these eggs though. Soft boiled eggs already cooked. Chuck them in the noodles. And here's all their hot food. We're gonna get a whole bunch of things from fried chicken to rice cakes with sausage. And there are even skewers. Oh, that one looks mm, really nice. Yeah, 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 you know, you know. Look at this guy. He's like, hmm, you better get my buns. Otherwise, hmm, we're gonna get some. This is so cool. I love it. It, it just reminds me of like a candy dispenser or something. Oh, look at that steam. I don't wanna get this one. That one's a custard one. Get me some white ones. Get me two white ones. Two white ones. So there are red bean, there are meat ones, there's a pizza one, and a whole bunch of others. We don't know. You just gotta go by luck. I'm gonna get this bad boy. Hells yeah. Oh, it's like a cake. How are your feet feeling warm, guys? Well, not a problem. A whole bunch of socks here too. Over here you got a toy section. Guys, this is just a store, really. I mean, you can buy toys here whole bunch of electronics and here's personal care as well and you can go upstairs there's another level so you can chill there here you got a place to eat look how nice that is tissues ready you got hot water you got microwave holy cow that's a lot of food and that came down to 50,001 exactly good number Welcome Hi. to the CU Convenience Store Mukbang, Mukbang in Korea. This is uh, one of the biggest food halls we've had. Hopefully you guys have your food ready to eat with us. Yes. I don't even know where to begin. Wow. I just want to say that everything was so cheap. Mm, mm, yeah. The amount of food that we got. 50,001 for a feast that could feed uh, at least eight people. First up, I am eating this. It is made from Chef um, Hyundai. Ooh, Look at that, guys. Looks pretty can good. So it you can see, good. omelette rice, egg, rice inside, tomato, two sides of flavoring. One side is a curry, the other side is a, like a tomato bolognese sauce. Oh. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Try it. Oh my god. So many flavors. What the other curry flavors? Oh, and the curry. tomato. Joined together with that rice and egg. That's one of my, my favorite omu rice. Here I have my uh, jajangmyeon. I think it is at least. Uh, look inside, guys. Uh, we've also put an egg in there as well. <laughs> we put an egg in everything yeah. because egg tastes good with everything. And they do like a half boiled that's already cooked for you. It's so simple. I got bulgogi and this rice is really popular in Korea. Everyone eats this like uh, purple bean rice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a purple rice. With, yeah. Um, it's healthy and it's delicious. It actually adds 
to the rice to make it a little bit more interesting. And then we got egg and kimchi. Wow, that looks really good too. It looks like a really nice bento. Cheers, guys. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that's spicy. Yum. Holy cow, that's spicy. Oh, really? Mmm. Wow, 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 wow. That is one of the the better jajangmyeon or black bean mm. noodles I've had. It doesn't have that weird aftertaste. If you guys want to check it out, it's called this. Four, three, Korea. This is delicious. It's just sweet soy, bulgogi beef. Rice is good, you have to try some. Oh really? Mm. I have to try it. God oh, dang. Just eat the rice. rice. Just Yum, the rice. delicious. Beef, mmm, tender, a lot of flavor. Mm. I need to try this egg thing. Oh, it unraveled. <laughs> well, wow. mmm, that's good. I like mine. That's really good, but it, I like mine a little bit better. This is a kumpo, and uh, here, that's what it looks like. It's all sliced up. We put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. This is tuna and also. Ooh! What are you doing? The middle is the best part. That's how you know she's a greedy greedy. You know that she does the same thing with garlic bread. She always leaves me the ends and always takes the delicious You're a kimbap face now. That's your face right there. Cheers. So this is tuna, bulgogi, mm -hmm. carrot. Mm. Oh, good. It's a lot better when it's heated. Yeah. We uh, were in the mountains, negative four degrees, and we were starving because where we were staying had no convenience store or any restaurants mm. close by. And the next day we ran to the convenience store when we got to the station and got some kimbap. Kimbap. But we didn't microwave it and it was, it, was it tastes like a popsicle. Yeah, it was so cold. Mmm, uh. mmm, yeah. yep. Mm. I need to wash down all these flavors so I can cleanse my palette. Tea is probably the best way to do that, but I'm gonna go for this. Look how cool this looks, guys. It's like an apple drink. This is 100 calories. 100 calories in 250 meals, are you serious? That's a lot of sugar, man. Is it? Sorry, so, I, went, I went to gym today. This is the Checked out the Superman ladies. noodles. Had a crazy eye workout. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. Sussing the bays. That was just Ajima's. I need to get some more hot water. Cheers. <laughs> wow, she has no pants on, guys, so I was trying to cover her. Before we shot this, she's like, should I take my pants off? I want to be comfortable, but I don't want to be naked, but I guess you are now. <laughs> and everyone knows. That's all right. Everyone knows to... that I never wear pants anyway. I used to shoot all my comedy videos with no pants on, so I'm, I'm really into that. Comfort is always number one. You work better when, when you're, you're comfortable. comfortable. And I think officers need to, you know, take that on. Everyone wearing suits, you get aggravated. You get uncomfortable working. Let everyone wear no pants. Where are my buns? Where are my soft, juicy buns? Oh, I forgot about the chicken, the chicken. I've got this white bun. Oh my God, all the food is <laughs> falling dropping. off the table. Here is my bun, soft. Surprise. Oh. oh, it's red bean. Oh, is it? Oh. I'm gonna save that desserts blast. for later. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't eat red bean right yeah. now. I'm gonna try Damn this. It. This is a chicken skewer. I was hoping there'll be some some meat in there. Mm, Kung Fu. Lucky I bought two. See? When you're unsure, always buy more. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. When yeah, it comes this to is food. really good. I'm gonna open that up. Oh, that's what you want. Char su. That's some pork, maybe. Mm. No. Huh? That ain't no char su. What is it? Oh. oh, wait. It's like some sort of spicy Korean meat. Oh. Whoa. I'm not used to that. That is hot. You gotta be careful with Korean food. It is very spicy. It's so spicy, but I love it. White people beware. Oh man, because I always see white people go 
by Doc Bocky and stuff at the mm. stores and they always eat one. They're like, oh, spicy, spicy. And the Ajima is like laughing at them. It's a, it's a good sight. Oh, holy shit, this is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big chicken. How does it compare to family chicken? Let's find out. Whoa! What is that? It's That's a, a big prawn. It's a really big prawn. That's a big prawn with some cheese or something. Mmm. 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 That's a lot better than the skewer. Good fun. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. Oh, I'm gonna try this. Mm. It's pretty good. I feel like it would be better. It was hot. Right now it's a bit cold. Yeah, and we don't have a microwave in this hotel. Mm, no, no microwave. Or if there is, it's probably hidden in some secret compartment, 007 style. Ooh. Ooh. That's sweet. It's a latte peach drink. It's delicious. Just look at this. It's like a samurai sword. Ready? Take it out of it. Shing! <laughs> this is a sausage and rice cake stick. It looks so funny. It looks hilarious. Look how big this thing is. And I have a big head, so this thing's huge. Okay, let's try. It tastes like how it looks. <laughs> How Strange. <laughs> oh, it's pretty bland. It, it's nice when you eat it together. It's like you're having a hot dog with rice. Mm. Most of the hot food you get from the convenience store, it's always better to eat on the spot, you know? If you buy it, take it out, just eat it straight away. Oh. We had to cook noodles, we had to microwave different types of foods, we had to mm. do a whole bunch of things. So it ruins the integrity of the food a little oh. bit. But and the then... CU convenience store is definitely the one we went to today is definitely one of the biggest convenience yeah. stores we went to, whether it be a 7-Eleven in Korea or the other ones that they have, like a mini stop or whatever. The, the one we went to at CU C is huge. One of the biggest we've seen. This so if you guys want a great CU, make sure you go to Busan. Clear japchae noodles. Mm. This is um, too bad. Mm. It's just like basic. Basic like clear MSG soup. <clears throat> it tastes like the soup that you get from those uh, fish cake stands. Yeah, kind of yeah, similar yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I've got an onigiri. Always have to get one when we're at the convenience store. This one seems to be a mayo and bacon flavor. Oh. Not bad, yeah. Illuminati. Seaweed seems good. I think it's just mashed. Bacon? Bacon, yeah. Small tiny pieces with mayo. It's okay. It's not bad. For onigiri, I think tuna is just the best way to go. Tuna and mayo because yeah. they're like this, you know? They're best buddies mm -hmm. and they belong in an onigiri. And move on to stage two, which is snacks Alrighty. and desserts. Oh, yeah, no. I'm done with the hot food. I'm gonna go back to this red bean bun. Oh my lord, what is that? <laughs> I've never seen red bean like yeah. this. It's like a syrup. I don't think that's red bean. It's like... It's like a... Maple syrup? Burnt sugar kind of taste to it, yeah. It's not bad though. It's very interesting, but it's so sweet. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's red bean. It tastes... It reminds me of that... Um, that Chinese cough medicine kind of black oh. syrup kind of taste without the aftertaste. Can I open this? Yeah. Over here we have some sandwiches. Is this okay. condensed milk? I'm hoping it's condensed milk. It says fresh milk on it, mm. but I'm hoping it's condensed milk. It looks like that. It's so cute. It's so cute. Crossless little rectangle. Is it condensed milk? Oh, cream. No! But there is condensed milk in it too. Oh, not bad. Mmm, mmm. 
It's like whipped condensed milk oh. put into a sandwich. Oh. It's decent. I have chicken sandwich now. That is so random. You just ate like condensed cream with, and then you're mixing it with spicy chicken. Mm. It's gonna be in the toilet for a really long time after this. Oh my god, don't talk about toilet. This looks amazing. It's so cute. It's like it's a like little. It's like a cream roll. It's so cute. Soft, creamy, delicious. It smells really nice. Mm. I like it a lot. So babe, how are you liking Korea? Mm. I am really enjoying it. Compared Definitely. to the first time we ever went, this time is a lot better for me. Mm. I feel like the people are also a lot nicer now. Last season we just ran into a lot of city folk yeah. or like people who just were kind of mean. And these chips look amazing. This turtle chips, one of my favorites because they have so many layers. It smells like peanut, like peanut butter. Oh. That's what it looks like guys. And see here how they have so many layers. So the crunch is so airy and crunchy. Mmm! This is peanut flavor with some sort of sweet glaze on it. Oh, man. I just think I found my new favorite chips. So we went to the Melon Awards a few days ago, which is like a K-pop award show. And I didn't know that concerts in Korea, the people, when you have seated seats, mm -hmm. they don't stand up. And it's considered kind of rude if you do stand up mm. because you're blocking the view of people behind you. In Australia, when there's a concert, everyone, everyone stands up. But apparently in Korean culture, maybe, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, people don't do that. I, I've i looked uh, around yeah, and everyone just sits down. The only people that have to stand up are uh, the people in the mosh pits. And that place was insane. K-pop concerts are just crazy. People squishing each other, people fainting. Oh my Lord, I've never been to a concert like that. I've been to a Justin Bieber concert with you mm -hmm. many years ago, and I got to see like the youngins uh, during that mosh pit. But you know, it's quite tamed in Australia, but here they were pushing, they were shoving, people were getting squished. Oh, I, there were ambulance at the concert as well because a lot of people were suffocating. It's incredible. So what was the first Korean thing that was introduced to you, babe? Probably food. Mm. Um, I used to go eat Korean food with my family a lot. Oh, really? We all love Korean food. We used to go like every weekend to like a Korean restaurant down our street and just eat together. My family never had any Korean food until mm. recently. Oh. It was just, uh, they knew nothing about it. I guess my time was definitely mm -hmm. K-dramas. Oh yeah, and K-dramas too. Oh, like, I think... My first drama was either like My Sassy Girl or Full House. Oh yeah, Full yeah. House, yeah. The one with Rain yeah, and that girl. Yeah, that I was watched a good show Full too. House with my parents. So that was the first time I was uh, I experienced any Korean culture was, um, or anything to do with Korea was a K-drama. It's a K-drama, but it's dubbed by a Vietnamese woman and she does voices for the guy and the girl. So you don't get the same effect. Like when there's a dramatic kiss scene or yeah. you know something sad, it would be like, in real life, it's oh, But in the Vietnamese version, it's Mày không, không làm đi But it's so dramatic in the scene It was horrible, but we still watched a whole bunch of those kind of shows Oh wow oh. It's a custard or a bean We're not too sure Look, like you're smiling Smile Bing. So I'm eating these peanut pretzel uh, pepero and I love it. This is one of my favorite snacks. This and the chips. Holy moly. This is what I love about doing these convenience store muck buns. We always eat something that we've never tried before and I always find gems. And I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of these and bring it back home to Australia. How is it? It's like custard but with something else inside it. It's like these inside it. Oh, those nuts. What is that? Yeah. It's a nut. Yeah, it's like a shredded nut. Macadamia? I want to try this. Mm. I don't like cream. So, like I never get cream on top of anything. I hate cream on cakes. 
I mean, if it's like, like inside the cake, it's fine. Yeah, a little bit, it's okay. But when they like cover the entire cake with just whipped cream, I don't it's like too that. Much. Hey, is that the new So Good merch available on T Street? <laughs> Is that you with the, the mm -hmm. pink purple hair and that's me with the red hair? Yeah. Oh, this is us now, but you just can't see the food. Oh, yeah. So just edit food here and we can do the, like this. Can you re it? Um. Mm. Yeah. Here you can Hold one of these. And hold the chicken one. Yeah, hold the chicken one. Oh, it's still And then I'm like this. That's like actually our merch. Code. Make sure you guys check out the merch. It's, it's a so good merch. Um, it's a design I created and an artist, yeah. Ray, finalized it and colored it in. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite pieces. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for those that have actually already bought our merch. Mm. You guys send me pictures and I keep them and I love them. Yeah. So if you have it, you know, just take a picture and send it to me. And she'll put you guys on her Instagram. It really means a lot when I see people wearing our merch. I'm just like... <gasps> Like people actually like buy it and wear it. It's like, you know, you designed it and it's like so special to us. So this is a snow cake, I think. I feel like that's like um the Some sort dango of dango dust thing. Dango dust? That's a cream or marshmallow. Cream kind or of marshmallow looking. and then you've got a sponge. Sponge. And then this one you got red bean. And then this here is I think a mousse. Something. Looks like a mousse. Yeah. That looks incredible. Let's see. If we're correct. Oh, so you got this one. What is this? A, like a cheesy kind? And this one. It's like a noodle. It's noodle chips. You know, it reminds me of uh, Rachel on Friends. Oh! No! <laughs> you dropped it in the noodles! No! It reminds me of uh, Rachel from Friends when she made that really disgusting dessert with the Lay's. Why? Don't you remember that episode? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it looks disgusting. A bit too much cream, but the bottom is like red bean and you've actually got a layer of mochi down there. These are bloody good. They're non-frying. Do you want to try some? So I think they're baked chips. Yeah, I'll have some soup. Okay, I'll see. This, yeah. I think we need to put this in the fridge for a little bit longer. To make it cold and it'll taste really good. Oh. Because that's actually not bad. Damn. Hey, I saw that first. It's like a cheese, cheese baked crisp. Oh, it's really yeah. cheesy. So I gotta get this one. This is a cup noodle and I've eaten this cup noodle before. Oh, yeah. Wow. People get really triggered when I we know. do that. I know. I was gonna say. Yeah. Someone probably and, got and triggered from just, that. Yours is next level. Look at that, like, guys. Like, turn around. It's more than half the packet. Anyone getting triggered by this? I understand if you get triggered by maybe eating with your your mouthful of food or like munching a lot. But opening chips? No. But I think there's like you know, a lot of little things that trigger certain yeah. people. Yeah. And I guess they just can't help it. These are so addictive. Like... I think you finished it all. Well, let me try another one. I really like the texture of it. The texture of it is really good. Mmm. Oh, they're too cheesy. Mmm. You know what I realized? Even though it's winter in Korea, the sun is still out. And that's amazing because in Australia, when it's winter, you never ever get to see the sun and every just day it's so gloomy and you just don't want to do anything. You just want to stay inside and be a couch potato. I'm a sunny person. I like the sunny weather. Mm. So if it's bright outside, it really lifts up my mood. I'm always in a really good mood when I see the sun and it's like bright and it makes me want to go outside and do stuff. But when it's like raining, I just don't want to do anything. I am a winter guy. Yeah. I like layers. I like um, the cold against my face. Uh, you burn more calories during the winter when you walk around. And also my fat layer warms me up. And that's why I have this fat layer all over my body. Very nice. It's not because I eat a lot, no. It's strategic for the winter, you know? What's that? 
Is that like a yan yan? Yeah, but it's a Korean chocolate yan -yan. sprinkle. Oh, hi. There you go. On it. So basically with Yan Yan, it's usually just the cracker stick and chocolate or strawberry or some other flavor. How did you get a hint thought? Here, it's in here. Oh. But this one comes with sprinkles and Delena loves hundreds and thousands because <laughs> she loves anything colorful. <laughs> so here we have strawberry milk from Korea. Very popular. I always see people drink this. I always see people drink this as well, but I've never tried it myself. Yeah, What's I really so like the it? banana one. Banana one is awesome. Oh, you tried the banana one? I think I have, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. It's less on the milky side, which is what I like about it. Oh, let me try. The strawberry flavor is quite delicious. I'm gonna get my ice cream. Okay. So we don't actually have a freezer. There's only a fridge. So I bought this ice cream for you guys because I wanted to show you. It's some yellow flavor. It's an ice cream cake. That's so delicious. Oh really, you like it? That's really delicious. But look what happened to it. Oh well. Basically, it's, not that bad. it's a sponge on top. So you got like a oh, soft, it's a sponge. Yeah, yellow I thought sponge. It was like, looks like cheese. And then what seems to be like cookies and cream ice cream. Mm. No, no looking, guys. Don't look at my girlfriend's panties. How dare you? You can look at my dad's or my mom's, but not my girlfriend's. All right, I do not give you permission. <laughs> Actually, you guys can't. Ready? Whoa! Candy. You got the latte chocolate ice cream. These ones are really long. Look how long that is. Like 20 centimeters. Okay. Amazing. Ooh, I like oh, that. Wow. <gasps> ah! No! Ah! No, the chocolate fell in the chips. It's melted. Oh shit! Oh crap! I'm saving it. No, but chips are nice in ice cream. True. I know people do that. I think I finally tap out. I am done with the food. It's gonna take me five hours to work this one off. Yesterday we went to the gym and we thought um, the gym only had treadmills and all cardio stuff, and I actually believed it because I figured like maybe Koreans don't work out. You don't see a lot of bodybuilders or like really jacked Korean dudes here. You know, you see fit girls, but they could just do a lot of running and uh, Pilates and core strength kind of stuff. But the gym was actually downstairs and I finally, after five, six days, got to have a workout. When he was working out, I was just sitting on the bike. Yeah. And I wasn't even doing anything because I just like, I couldn't be bothered. So I was just sitting on the bike and then the lady outside kept like coming in and out, in and out. And like she kept looking at me to see what I was doing. And she's just like, thinking like, why is this girl here if she's just sitting on a bike? Yeah, you're on your phone <laughs> and just like slowly pedaling while like tapping furiously away at her phone. But you know, that's probably what you do at gym in Australia too. She works out with Sun Ho. Do you think any workout is happening there? We had a deal, you know, we had a deal where we were gonna diet for a week and gym. And, um, you know, we wrote a contract. Wait, I have to and put it no, no, out no, no, there. No, 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 Why well, no, I have to put no, it out no, there no, first. No, you can't say no. Let me no, finish let my me story, just please. say a statement. Let me finish your no, statement. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we met. Your teeth is covered in chocolate. Well, you shouted him like that. <laughs> Why would you like it? You did like oh! this. <laughs> That's what you did. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Very chocolatey. I give that a 6.7. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she works out with Sun Ho, okay? And these two are like the worst. We had a bet. We we're going to work out and diet for a week. And she did pretty well the first three days. They were working out, I think, an hour a day. And then, you know, her stomach was getting smaller and smaller gradually. And um, on the fourth day, she came home from gym and I, I noticed her belly. There was something wrong with it. It was quite expanded. It was like bloated and sticking out. And I was like, wait a second. What's going on there? Are you pregnant? Is there a guy? that I don't know about, but I realized she was cheating on me with food. And on the fourth day, I Surprise! found out that Sun and Delena secretly went to McDonald's and like made a deal, like a pact, you know, don't say anything to John. Don't, you know, don't tell him we're gonna go to McDonald's after gym and we're just gonna feast. And that's what they did, but I knew because I could tell. That's why it's so hard to hide anything from you. Even when I try to like 
sneak snacks into the house. I have to like hide in a different cupboard and then I wait for him to like go to gym and then I'm at home trying to eat my snacks. What am I? Your dad? Huh? Am I your mum? Why are you doing so? If you're gonna stick to a diet plan and because fitness, you, you never, gotta follow you it. You never let me eat that much junk food. Like if I could, I would eat junk food every single day. Like I would actually just eat junk every single day. But you have to understand that we are getting older and I am clearly the respon only responsible one in this relationship, especially when it comes to food. Okay, because I, admit I that. know how much you can eat. I admit that. And I feel like if you just keep on, if I just let you eat as much as you want, you would become a giant. That's it, a giant. <laughs> <laughs> we eat for a living, that's our job. So before shoots, I would like to somewhat take it easy. Uh, before we go on feasts because this is how much we eat sometimes we eat a whole bunch we do mukbangs every day we eat two to three times a day and it, it just it's not healthy as well it's not good for the heart you know guys if you're gonna eat a lot you just have to work out or go for a walk at least that's you know the way it should be i never ever exercised my whole entire life until i met like twee and john because like twee is like real fit and you know you go to gym as well and imagine like not exercising for like over like 20 years and then suddenly I have to like exercise. It's just not good. It's, it's not like I've been strict on you about food, our whole relationship. I we've know. had periods where we've just scorched, just eaten so much KFC, McDonald's. We had fast food for five days in a week, but it's just once we've been doing this, we can't junk out as hard as we want. So that's all. It's probably not healthy the way I eat and my lifestyle with food and everything like i get yeah. that but at the same time no one loves gym though no one loves working out well there, there are some people but a yeah. majority don't like wake up in the morning and go wow i can't wait to run for three hours no i'm, I'm pretty sure they don't feel that way they just have to but do it some... because they eat so much or they're going to eat a lot so you gotta you gotta have balance in your life when it comes to food you let it affect your emotions so much like I can't help it. I mean, I I don't know why I love food so much. Like, why do I love food so much? Because I think in your past life, many centuries ago, you were probably a food god, a food um... princess. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just a food follower. Anyway, babe, let's uh tell each other a thing that we don't know about each other. After almost five years of dating, we it seems like we know everything about each other. But sometimes. It's not you the find case. those things where you're like, oh, hmm. I didn't, I never heard about that story. I didn't know about that. But I think that's better because like you should always be, you know, learning something new about your partner and always, you know, getting to know them. It's not that we know everything about each other inside and out. Otherwise, it's just the relationship just gets like. I want to tell you one thing okay. that you don't know about me. You know what? This is we'll talk about regrets. Okay. Oh. We're going real deep all of a sudden. One of my regrets was in high school. I had a best friend. We'll call him C. We spent a lot of time together. Went to the shops. We went to those game arcades. We almost got arrested once because, you know those ping pong ball guys? Uh, we took those ping pong balls out from the bottom and we went to the, the high level. And there was a coffee shop on level one. We used to drop ping pong balls into their drink. And then the cops came after us. He got a girlfriend though, mm. and um, they dated for a year and a half, and I always had a, like a little resentment, I guess. They broke up, you know, for some whatever reason, okay? And then I ended up dating her, and then our friendship died from there. Wow. What? Wow. What? Wow. What? Wow. Really? I actually don't know this. <laughs> and I regret what? that. And I've thought about it maybe every few times in the throughout the years that was a terrible move on my end wow it was a stupid move but i did it because i was in love i realized that she ended up breaking up with him mm. for me mm. so it was like a weird high school love triangle but it, i don't know how it happened and you don't do that to your bros but i was a dumb young kid and a lot of my young in life is full of regret. And that is one confession I had to say. See, I am very sorry I apologize to you. 
Well. To go somewhere now. And also, after that, I broke up with that girl on MSN, which is kind of like Facebook chat after a year and a half dating, so. I was like, whoa. Maybe I, that, maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut on that one. Mm. But wow. I don't mind. You know, I'm not afraid to put myself in the bad light because it's not like something I'll do now. It's something from the past, over 12 years ago. And I'm sure something a lot I of people change. have made mistakes in the past, you know? So yeah. it's, like, it's not like everyone's perfect, you know? We're human beings. Mm. And he uh, hated me for a really long time after that. It was pretty bad. I think I saw him like maybe five years later and he still had a lot of hate in his eyeballs. Do you have anything? Any stories or anything you, I don't know about you? I Any regrets? Like, I think the only thing would be like to be careful with like who I become friends with. Cause I've had a lot of like friends who have like, you know, really just like screwed me over when I've like put all my trust in them. When I'm your friend, I'm like, I really like, you know, look out for you and I really care for you. But when the other person just like betrays you, it's just like, wow, you know. And yeah. I've been betrayed by a lot of friends before. And right. I think the it's... only thing would just be like, oh, I wish like maybe I knew before, like knew their true colors before. Yeah. But that's about it really. Like. That's because you're just too nice and you get, uh, I guess you can come off as a bit of a pushover. So, and they take advantage of your kindness. You gotta watch out for that. You think they're your best friend and then next minute you find out that they're like talking smack about you mm. or they're not as loyal as you thought they were. Yeah. And it just sucks because you put so much time into your friendship and then I think ultimately in the end you just, they become strangers. So what do you do? Yeah. Eight years ago, I only had three friends. Really? Yeah. And so I'm actually pretty, Doing pretty well now. That I, That's pretty good. That I got seven. <laughs> I don't understand like people who want 40 to 50 different friends. And then when it's Christmas, they have to go to like eight parties. When it's, you know, I mean, 500 birthdays throughout the year. I just, if they're I all good it. friends and that's really good for you, you know, for people who have like a lot of friends, I guess you just gotta believe in people because you can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst? moment relationship moment you've had with your exes do you have any i'll tell you one of mine okay i had some crazy exes in the past we had a fight first we had argued you know blah 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 uh she was a bit tipsy i went on my ipad i was like you know what screw this and she grabbed her heels which were like this what's oh, that really? i don't know stilettos, what stilettos. Mm. threw it at me at my face it came at my face and i blocked it with my ipad oh, really? completely dented the back and she just walked away and I was like, holy shit, I've got to get out of this one fast. That was a toxic relationship of mine. Do you have Crazy. any? Crazy. No. Crazy. Not many for you? No, I have. Well, it's just strange like talking about it. I mean, it's not strange, but I guess I'll share it. I'm sure people have been through it as well. But it's just like, I don't like talking about my ex and I'd rather like not say anything about him because he doesn't deserve like Whoa. anything you know right, what i mean I get you. yeah it's not worth a moment of your time yeah, yeah. but since we're sharing stories i'll share okay. it with you guys so my last relationship was quite long term as well, well. not not way. as long as us obviously okay yeah and so long story short i found out that he cheated on me with his best friend's fiance Oh my god. And there were no signs. <laughs> like when I found out, I had a really tough time thinking it was my fault that he cheated on me. And honestly, it is never your own fault because it's just stupid, okay? You, it's really hard when you find out, but just I just want you guys to know that you should love yourself and that it gets better. And you know, when one door closes, another one opens. Because kind of like when you found out about the cheating you broke up with him you became mm -hmm. single yeah um i broke up after getting a high heel thrown out my face mm -hmm. and we became both single and then we kind of met after that yeah and became a couple it's and we crazy. are now together almost five years the longest for both of us yes in a relationship and it seems like this one will last forever so and you guys are part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, you know, regrets, 
you're going to have them throughout your life, but you heal in yeah. time. You forget the memories, but there's nothing wrong with going back on them. And, um, you and know, to be honest, about it like, makes you feel better, I guess. It's you like know, therapy. When you have like bad Food days, therapy. there's always a better day coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Yes. I see you mukbang in South Korea. <laughs> we had a great time chatting to you. We have said a lot of things. Yes. We also ate a lot. Yes. Maybe said a few things. I regret. Maybe not. <laughs> no. no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Just live your life with no regrets. That's the theme of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Take care, guys. We Thanks will see for you watching. real soon. And we love you. Bye. Bye. Help me do the, the ending, uh, the closing we're singing on. Uh, <laughs> that's such <a> <laughs>